What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how I use Bluetooth or wireless controllers on my DE10 Nano with the add-on boards running Mister. Now if you're not familiar with this board or the Mister project, I'm going to leave links in the description. I have made videos in the past on it. Basically what we have here is an FPGA powered single board computer that's able to run software called the Mister project and in turn it can very accurately emulate or some people refer to it as simulate our favorite retro consoles and arcade machines. If you're interested in learning more about the DE10 Nano, I'm going to leave some links to some videos that I've created. I'm also going to leave links to the Mister project GitHub page where you can learn everything you need to about it. So I've been using this board a lot lately. I've actually had it downstairs and every single night I play some games on it. I am a big Raspberry Pi guy as you know from my channel but the DE10 Nano has been doing an awesome job and the cores are constantly updated. One of my favorite things about newer retro emulation is the ability to use several different controllers and even wireless controllers. Even if you do experience a little bit of input lag, your brain can compensate and play those games perfectly fine. There's no doubt about it, wired controllers will always be king, but I love the convenience of being able to use a wireless controller with my retro games. So this is my usual go-to controller for the DE10 Nano. It's just a simple wired SNES clone. Works really well. This one's actually made by Retroflag. Feels great. But like I said, I love using wireless controllers with devices like this. So I decided to test out the 8BitO USB Bluetooth receiver. Now you'll hear me refer to this as 8BitO because it's easier to say, but I have a ton of their controllers. This also works with the PS4 controller, the Xbox One Bluetooth controller, and the 8BitO do-it-yourself kits. So I got a lot of stuff here that I have tested. All of this works, but my go-to for the DE10 Nano now is the new M30. It's a great controller and I'll leave links to the adapter and the controller I'm using in the description. You can get them on Amazon. The adapter itself is around 15 bucks and the M30 is $30. But if you already have an Xbox One S controller or a PS4 controller, you can use it with the adapter. So it's easy to sync it up. I already have the DE10 Nano on running Mister. I'm just going to plug it into one of the free USB ports that I have here on the hub. I'm going to hold the button on the adapter for about three seconds till the light starts flashing and I'm going to sync the controller up. Now after you already have the controller you're going to use synced with the adapter, every time you power it on it's going to connect to that adapter within like 3 or 4 seconds, but the first time may take around 10 seconds to sync. Unfortunately, a single adapter will only support a single controller. You can't connect two controllers to one adapter, so if you want two players you'll need two adapters or you could opt to buy a 2.4 gigahertz controller that comes with a dongle, it'll be like a little mouse dongle, like the GameSir G3S. You can use that, plug it right in, and it'll connect right up. But I love these controllers. I got a bunch of them laying around, and I figured I'd go ahead and use them. I know it's hard to see these small LEDs on camera, but as soon as it goes solid, it'll be connected. Then you'll have to map it in the menu, and you can start using it with your cores. You will have to access the Mr. Menu with a keyboard by pressing F12, but you can map the joystick buttons here, and then you're ready to play. So I'll get into a little bit of Genesis gameplay, but it does work with all the cores as long as the controller's supported. And even if not, you could map this as keyboard buttons like an Amiga if you really wanted to. I prefer using a keyboard for systems like that, but some people may want to use a controller. I did end up mapping my buttons a little weird. I set startup as my menu button or the OSD button. Um, you can set this up any way you want to. This is just how I did it out of the box. I'm probably going to go back and remap it. There's three extra buttons on this specific controller, so I can map those as my menu buttons. And as you can see, it works really well. Now personally, I don't notice any input lag. I'm sure somebody out there is going to be complaining about it. I'm so used to messing around with different emulators on tons of different systems that I've kind of got used to a little bit of input lag. Now as long as it's not a second. A few milliseconds, your brain can compensate and get used to it. But overall, I'd say this is as good as it's going to get going wireless. It works fine for me. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave links to the Mr. Project's GitHub. I'm also going to leave some Amazon links for things that I use. I know I have a lot of viewers who have purchased the DE10 Nano and have been using wired controllers. I think this is an awesome little option if you want to go wireless. I'd also really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with things like this. And like always, thanks for watching.